Hello and welcome to West Country Wanderings. This is a railway series video today, but we're here to start off with at the Oxford, or rather, should I say, on the towpath of the Oxford Canal, which goes from the city of Oxford down in that direction, coming up north through Banbury, which is also down there, we're north of Banbury, heading up towards Rugby, where it joined, later on it joins the Coventry Canal. We've not covered this canal before, it's just to the far east extreme of the area that I cover here on West Country Wanderings. I'm near a Cotswold village called Fenny Compton, right in the far northeastern cover of the Cotswold AOMB. What's all this got to do with railways? Well, it's to do with a military railway at the Kidderton Ministry of Defence depot, which is just a couple of miles over that way. And the reason I've come here is because just a little bit over that way is the main line that runs between Oxford, Bamry and Birmingham. And our line of interest just branches just off that into the Kinnerton MOD depot. So we're going to have an explore and see what we can see if level crossings and bridges, that sort of thing. I hope you can join me here on West Country Wanderings. So this here is Funny Compton Wharf on the Oxford Canal. And just alongside it, and very convenient too, you have the Wharf Inn here at Fenny Compton on the Oxford Canal. So here are two bridges. The one nearest the camera is the one that carries the main line between Oxford and Birmingham. And the one behind that is the one that carried the branch line to Stratford-upon-Avon. And so this bridge here is the one that now carries the military railway into Kinnerton MOD. Now you can see from this angle that the bridge that carries the military railway was originally double track and it's now single track going into Kinnerton. It's like they're doing maintenance work on it so it shows you this military railway is still very much alive but that this section here is maintained by network rail until it diverges off and that's going to be our next port of call. And this is the Chiltern Railway access point. I think that uh, chap there from Network Railway, I'm not sure if he was working on the military side of it, or the uh, Chiltern Rail. There's a train just going through there. It's a cross-country train, probably heading up to Manchester, probably come from Bournemouth direction. And uh, yeah, so it says high output track renewal, so they're clearly working on the line there at the moment. So I'm now at a location called Boundary Farm and there is a footpath which runs fairly close to the railway line so we're going to see what we can see from here. And just through the gap in the hedge there is our first tantalising glimpse of our military railway. Yes that's it there. See if I can get a closer shot. And so just off the edge of the footpath unbelievably close to it and no fence in front of it either which surprises me you can see the Kinnerton Military Railway. I'm very surprised there's no fence on that. There is fence obviously around the munitions dump itself where everything is stored, but the access railway here is unfenced. I don't expect people, that many people come down this way anyway though, because it is a little bit off the beaten trap near a place called Boundary Farm. And there's the, looking in the other direction, this is a very extensive site. When I can find a suitable spot, I will sit down and uh, do a piece of camera and tell you more about it. But at the moment, I'm needing to be discreet. I can't do any long lenses or big fluffy microphones or tripods. I'm just literally on my feet because I need to be careful for obvious reasons. But yeah, you can see the perimeter fence. So beyond the other side, I'm not inside the fence, I'm not in the MOD land. That, that is an MOD line that you can see in front of you, but the Ministry of Defence base is the other side of that uh, perimeter fence there. Brilliant. So we're now in Kinderton. I'm gonna have a look at the church, first of all, and then I'm gonna have a look at, see what remains of the former line between 
Fanny Compton and Stratford upon Avon before I continue looking at the military railway. Kinnerton seems to be a delightful little village. Love that sign there. I'm rocking that sign there. It says this bridge is insufficient to carry a heavy motor car. Now what you're looking down on there is the former track bed of the East and West Junction Railway. Not a railway that gets mentioned a lot. It's sometimes abbreviated to the E and WJR. Attained an Act of Parliament on the 23rd of June in 1864 and it built a 33 mile line right from Northamptonshire to the Warwickshire town of Stratford-upon-Avon. So yes, Stratford-upon-Avon is in that direction down there. You can even see some of the old line side fence posts. And in the other direction it heads towards Fenny Compton where it meets the main line, the Chiltern line between Oxford and Birmingham. And between here and Fenny Compton of course is where our military railway feeding the Kinnerton Ministry of Defence Base splits away. So this is looking in the opposite direction. So I'm still here in the village of Kinnerton and it was the section between Fenny Compton and Kinnerton which opened on the 1st of June 1871, some time after that Act of Parliament. And they started running trains on it a little while later, just serving the two villages. Now it wasn't until 1873 the full line was connected right up to Stratford in this direction and they had a temporary station of its own and trains were transferred to that and then a permanent station was opened in Stratford in 1875. However we're going to continue on to explore our military railway. I'm going to walk away from Kinnerton to Little Kinnerton where I can connect up with the Battlefields Trail footpath. So I'm now walking along Red Road. This was also marked as a Battlefields Trail on the map, which connects up the various sites involved in the Edge Hill battles of uh, the English Civil War. Now, I haven't done research on the, the Edge Hill battles because uh, obviously this is a military railway one. I can only hold so much data in my poor brain and I, I can't retell all of the facts and figures about the battles. What I can tell you, however, there is a memorial site inside the Kinnerton MOD site. Part of the battle actually happens there. And legend has it that the guard dogs that protect the ammunition dumps are petrified of certain areas because ghosts from the English Civil War have been seen there. So there's a marker sign there. Edgecote to Cro Cropperdry Bridge to Edge Hill. The Battlefields Trail, which is as I say, what we're on at the moment. I'm going to diverge away from this though, because I'm going to do a circular walk. That's why I'm going to go off down in that direction on the right there. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is our military railway. Slight problem though, according to the OS map, the battlefield's trail goes right across this field and there should be a foot crossing here. But no sign of a foot crossing. In fact, as you can see, there is a fence, although it looks like somebody has been across there and bent the fence down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this fence line because up further in the other corner of the field, there should be a foot crossing as well. It looks like the battlefield's path has been rerouted since the last OS map, taking you away. I can understand why. They don't want you anywhere near this uh, military railway or indeed anybody to film what goes up and down it. And those rails, I can tell you, are very, very shiny, aren't indeed. Now I've come across that field and I'm back on the track now. And you remember I said I turned right where it was signposted. No caught up with that and again, but according to the OS map, this crossing doesn't exist. Let's go through the gate and see what we can see. Okay, I'll read that sign to you because it's uh, 
pretty pertinent, obviously no smoking, hazardous area, now entering the danger area. No, I am still on the footpath. Well, according to the sign anyway, I haven't crossed anywhere I shouldn't be. Of the Defence Munitions Depot, Kinnerton, there is a risk of explosion, which may result in the Bridleway crossing being affected by blast, fragments and other debris. You have been warned. Although the risk of explosion is low, you are advised not to loiter while crossing this area. And it just repeats itself. <laughs> I'm not sure why it says it twice. Interesting. So that's interesting. The footpath doesn't go straight onto the crossing. It runs parallel to the railway track along this path, which is now in Ministry of Defence land. But it's also a public right of way. Isn't that most unusual? Well, that footpath brings you to here, which is really, really strange. Because there is a bridleway which goes right across it, but I haven't seen the other side of the bridleway. Perhaps it's a private bridleway, but this is a public right of way. So we'll go up to the uh, level crossing here. There's no, there are no uh, warning barriers though. Hmm. So you have a sign warning you that there is a level crossing. One problem is that the sign is bent round, so you can actually see it's an unfenced level crossing. That is a bit concerning, isn't it? And two, it's completely overgrown. As I say, there's no warning signs here at all. So let's have a look at the level crossing in detail. So there's our military railway level crossing. Just got a bridleway. I think obviously that's uh, farm access. Let's have a look up and down the track. And this line, of course, is running right round the perimeter of MOD Kinnerton. And you can see there that the rails are definitely used, probably not as frequently as I first, first thought on the other track, but uh, they are shiny-ish. So the trains have definitely come up and down here. Now what is really really interesting is what it looks like in the opposite direction. Have a look at this. It disappears into a very very tight curve. And I guess any train that's carrying munitions from one part of the depot to the other on this unfenced level crossing in the middle of Warwickshire would be going round that bend at a, completely at snail's pace which is probably why they don't really need the barriers because it would just be They'd probably have a guard or somebody ringing a bell or somebody patrolling the crossing as it went through and it probably would go through in the hours of darkness as well. Now I'm a little bit confused now because the lane here isn't marked as a right of way, the other side of the left fork crossing, only to it. It takes you to a place called Grave Ground Coppice and that is obviously where some of the dead from the English Civil War, Edge Hill, were buried. I'm tempted to walk along here, but I don't know. It doesn't say that you're uh, infringing any, uh, you know, trespass or anything like that. So I'm going to go round the corner and see what we can see. Now, before I do that, though, I'll just tell you a little bit about the uh, more of the history of this line. So we, as we said, it was part of the East and West Railway, which connected up Fenny Compton to Stratford-upon-Avon. 1872, I think I said, and uh, MOD Kinnerton was developed from 1941, so obviously uh, in the Second World War, developed as a central ammunition depot, and it served during World War II um, as that. It also served during, uh, as a Royal Pioneer Corps camp in World War I. It's now the largest ammunition depot in the whole of Western Europe. Now where those tracks go on to is the centre of the depot and it contains 60% of the entire MOD's munition. Just think about that. I don't know when the sparks going off in the wrong place around here, that's for sure. And as we saw, it's, been, it's linked to the main line by the branch line at Fenny Compton, Bunbury to Leamington Spa. The other thing to note is that this line here, severed from the main line, when the M40 was built, I can't remember when that was, was that in the 1980s or early 1990s, somewhere around there? So when they built it, they didn't originally think to provide a connection to this important MOD base here in Warwickshire, but later they did. The storage is over a wide area, and as I had a look at uh, Google Earth as well, is that uh, some of the track has been lifted in that bit, and the reason for that is I think in the late 1980s it went over from a railway fed on the base to road fed, but still railway encircles the entire site and there are, as I say, freight movements in and out of it pretty regularly. I really want to use my camera much else here because uh, there's going to be security cameras up ahead. You can just make out the perimeter fence there just over the other side of that field and part of the Presumably the uh, munition dumps buildings themselves. I'm afraid that's as close as I dare film up to the perimeter fence because of uh, security and everything. And our path 
just goes around there. It's still marked as being the Battlefields Trail, according to the finger post, which is most odd. Um, I don't know why that is, because I wouldn't have thought you'd just get access in. There is a monument to Battle of Edge Hill inside of the depot. I would think you'd have to get written permission to go in there, but uh, if anybody knows different, please drop a line below. What I'm going to do now, and I do apologise for not doing much uh, face-to-camera action, is because even in Kinnerton, people seem to be quite suspicious of a stranger's there. It's, though it's kind of in the Cotswolds, it's kind of not too. We don't see any tourists. And I think a lot of people work at the base. It employs hundreds, if not thousands of people. And most of them pro that live in Kinnerton probably work here. So they're probably suspicious of people. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to head back to my car. I may go over to a place called Bidford on Aden, nowhere near here, so I'll be safe there and I can do pieces to camera and nobody's going to be suspicious of me doing that. And I'll tell you some more about the history of this fascinating military railway because there was another railway inside it before the Ministry of Defence took over. And it's a fascinating tale and I hope to insert some images that I can find from the internet too. So why not carry on the journey here on West Country Wanderings at Kinnerton's Military Railway. Now, before I head over towards Bidford on Avon to close today's video, I've just driven along the Banbury Road out of Tinner Kinnerton, and you have this level crossing across the main road here. And this is our military railway again. Let's see if I can get a better look. So unlike the one that we saw where the uh, level crossing was on the Battlefields Trail, because this is on a road, it's a B road, that goes between Binnerton, I think it starts in Wells... Sorry about the road noise there. Wellsbourne, it starts in Wellsbourne, goes to Banbury. Banbury's about 10 miles from this point. It needs to be, uh, well, it's got the flashing lights on it, hasn't it? And probably it's got uh, sirens as well, but no barriers. See on that side there saying armament depi, army depot, no mission danger on that side. And here we have crossing number six, and then there's a telephone number, 01. 869. That's not a Bister number, is it? It's not linked to the Bister military railway that we saw earlier on, is it? It may be. I don't know. So that's looking in the direction of Fenny Compton, where we started our journey today. It's a funny little gate there. I don't know what... Again, excuse the... Apologise for the road noise. But obviously, roads and uh, level crossings, they perfect tend to go together, don't they? And here we're looking in the direction... Well, the direction of the depot itself. Um, we're inside the depot here, so if you... Yeah, obviously you're not going to, but if you did walk along the uh, permanent way there, you are actually in Minist Ministry of Defence lands. And they have unusual signals there. You can just make out the one there with the ladder going up to it. I can't get a shot of the other side of it, unfortunately. And you have another signal there, and presumably that's to indicate the driver of the train about the level cross. And again, it'll be going pretty slow. But you can see there the state of the permanent way and how good quality it is. In fact, that actually looks better than uh, a lot of the network rail ones that I've seen recently. There's not a weed on it at all. And uh, pretty fresh and clean looking ballast and newish concrete sleepers to boot. That's more of a wide-ranging view. I've just crossed the other side of the road so you can see the level crossing from there. I'll just look back in the other direction before I go. And that's looking down. Like we saw on the other bit, there's quite some sharp curves on this line, but of course that's not a problem because the trains aren't going to be going at speed, that's for sure. It's not a main line. It is a Ministry of Defence military railway here at MOD Kinnerton. And I was just about to leave, walk back to my car, and I found this, a little level crossing, presumably for local farmer, I would guess. I'll just show you in a minute. But there you can see the speed restriction on the line, 10 miles an hour. I presume that's 10 miles an hour, not 10 kilometres per hour for the trains going on this military railway here. And that's looking in the opposite direction. Now, I think, isn't that a confusing um, bit of signage there? Because I thought the red X for the level crossing meant it was ungated. Un uh, but of course it is gated, and the reason it's gated is because it's, it's Ministry of Defence land, the other side of it, so I wouldn't be able to get across that. And of course it is padlocked because that takes you into MOD land there, here at, uh, well, just outside the village of uh, Kinnerton. Interesting. E10 perhaps, the, it's the number. We had six for the road level crossing. E10 is perhaps it's the non-highway roads numbering level because there are a number of level crossings dotted around this huge Ministry of Defence establishment. One final thing, just to the left of the level crossing, you have this uh, 
base platform here, concrete base platform, perhaps, maybe there was a signal box once here or a crossing keeper's uh, hut at some time, perhaps when the line was busier, or maybe in the Second World War, um, and perhaps into the Cold War as well, there would have been somebody personnel based there. I don't know. If anybody knows any more about that, please drop a line the usual way below. Now, I do apologise for not being able to do pieces to camera or face to pieces to camera. It's just been my voice and a microphone and what I've been seeing in front of me. And the reason for that is the area that I was in earlier around MOD Kinnerton and indeed the village itself, the village itself at Kinnerton, I saw no less than 10 police cars and about 20. Some of them were uh, from the local Warwickshire Constabulary Front, some were MOD police. So I had to be very covert, covert operations trying to film this military railway. So it meant no fluffy microphones, no tripods, just a standard lens, no, no great big zoom lens or anything like that. That was just completely out of the question because I would have just uh, raised suspicions of what I was doing. Hopefully I've managed to, to capture, give you a flavour anyway, of what the military railway at Kinnerton is like or what you can see from public access, public footpaths and uh, the highways as well. I haven't committed any act of trespass and anything I've done today and I've stayed, if it says it's uh, Minister of Defence lands, I've stayed behind the line. So, uh, but hopefully I've given a uh, history of it since I say it started from 1941. But I did mention that there was some more history and that's to do with the Edge Hill Quarry Tramway. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that now. Now the Edge Hill Light Railway or Light Tramway, whichever you prefer, was to serve the quarries that were around the Edge Hill area and they mined ironstone which was used in the local roadstone building process. When the MOD acquired the land in the Second World War in 1941, they then set about building an extensive railway network to serve the armaments depot there. As part of that process, they actually absorbed into it the former Edge Hill Tramway or Quarry Tramway and that became part of it. So what was there previously was part of it. Interestingly, when I was walking back from the battlefield site or as close as I could get to it where there is a monument, I walked back from there and it looked like there was possibly the route of a former tramway. I will need to go back and have a look at uh, some old maps to see if that's the case. If I come up with something, I'll insert that in the video roundabout now, but I'm not sure because the lane looked like it had ballast on it at some point. Obviously that closed a long time ago. I think it was around the 1920s or early 1930s, the Edge Hill light railway closed, but uh, I'm not sure if that was part of the route of it or whether it was a previous road which served the MOD Kinnerton depot and that is now no longer surplus, or now should I say surplus to requirements. Now the other thing to mention in terms of security was the one part of the base there seemed to be a lot higher secure and that was around the bit around Boundary Farm which is when I showed you the, the track the first time round. you could just make out a bit of it through the hedgerow there. And do you remember I said that? I'd actually had to park close to Boundary Farm and uh, after I left my car and I was driving back towards Kinnerton, there was a police car that came down the lane and that is a no through lane. And I don't know whether it was going to the farm or not, they were just doing regular patrol treks or whether the fact I was walking down towards the fence, I was on a public footpath, but maybe the fact I was walking there just alerted them and they were just doing casual checks, just check out. I wasn't doing anything that were up to no good or anything like that, which, which I wasn't, of course, was well within the law. But uh, I get the sense that that part of it, so effectively everything that's to the east east of the road between Kinnerton and Banbury, the number of which escapes you, know, there's one that the level crossing then, I think that is more used 
more heavily, particularly with the uh, rail freight as well, than the section to the west of it, which is where I came across the line. Well, we saw the level crossings, didn't we there? So I think that bit is less used. You're probably asking the question now, what locomotives are on the military railway? Now, this is a really hard question to answer. I'll try and answer it as best that I can. Now, one of the items is a four-wheeled transport carrier, really odd-looking vehicle, which was built by Bagley and Drury. I think they're based in the Potteries, aren't they? Staffordshire, I think. I'll put that in below the usual way. But it was built in 1975 by Bagley and Drury, and that is still used, as far as I can tell. As I say, it is difficult to seek out information about that. There are also several fire tender rail cars, and these are all built by Clayton's in the late 1960s, around 1968, 1969. Well, they need those for obvious purposes, because if you suddenly have a little fire that escapes out with all those ammunitions, well, I don't need to explain the consequences. So the fire prevention there is extremely important. So they've definitely got some of those on the military railway there at Kinnerton. Now, to get the information that I've used today in today's video, I used an excellent, uh, vlog, not vlog, blog, uh, and I'll put a link to it in today's uh, description of today's video. Roger Palmsworth? No, that's probably wrong. Roger something anyway. Brilliant. It really, really tons of information, more than I'd be able to give you today. I think most of it is dated from the 1990s, but it gives you loads of facts and figures, and I don't think it's changed that much since then. You can see, as you definitely can see, that the railway has been used. And there was somebody else, a photographer, that went out that way and they actually saw train movements when they were in the field where I was near Boundary Farm going up and down during the daytime so uh, it's just potluck you aren't going to find out what time those are moving they're not going to publicize those in the ordinary network rail uh, train movement uh, timetables but uh, yeah because obviously it doesn't come under network rail it's their own separate maybe they do I'm not sure about the ones on network rail after it meets up with the uh, main line at Fenny Compton whether they're publicized or not but uh, it would almost certainly run in darkness <laughs> where it goes to i don't know so after it goes onto that main line i think it curves down so it'll be heading south so that's down towards the oxford direction but where it goes after that and where the ammunitions go to and from i have no idea and obviously that information will be very very difficult to find if you do know drop a comment below but uh, it's probably classified so uh, i wouldn't hold your breath on it i hope you have enjoyed today's railway series here on west country wanderings my second look at a military railway what kind of second because we did have a look at long marston which is no longer military it's uh, the porter look book um porter brook shall i say rail innovation center now but it was uh, military before but uh, yeah so it's extensive i think possibly the, the biggest after the Bista military rail, although Bista has gone undergone some rationalization. I think this one is probably more used than uh, the Bista site nowadays. I hope you found it interesting. Love to hear from you. Until next time on West Country Wanderings, take care of yourselves, look after yourselves, and I hope to see you on the channel again very, very soon. All the best for now. Bye-bye.